So in this video I'm going to show you the two main methods that you can use to cut flat iron stakes. Now the actual flat iron stakes comes as a complete muscle and you get four stakes from this. And it comes from the part of the cow and it's just below the chuck. But it's also just above kind of like the shoulder of the front leg. And so it's in quite a hard working part of the cow. Now make sure before you start you have a really really sharp boning or filleting knife and the first thing you can do is just poke the knife just under the silver skin because we need to take all of the silver skin off there's no way you can cook it like this you just need to remove it all it's a bit of a pain but just take your time and like i say just put the knife just under the silver skin angle it up slightly and then almost cut against the actual silver skin itself you shouldn't actually cut through it and it just allows you to guide that blade along. Now you will unfortunately lose some meat, but if you use the silver skin as a guide, then it should be helpful and you should minimize the amount of actual meat that you lose. I personally find it easier to do it in sections. So when I've done one bit and that's when I'm cutting away from myself, I then flip it over and do exactly the same on the other side. Before I show you the first method, I'm just going to tidy up the end so I can show you the massive sinew and this runs between the two muscles, but actually it's quite handy. So method one is to use the sinew and you angle the blade against the sinew and you basically cut along. Now this is a bit of a fiddling method in that you've got to be quite careful because if you lift your blade up, you're going to end up losing a load of meat. But the kind of like the trick on this one is like say use that sinew as a handle and then as you're cutting along just check to make sure that you're still cutting against the actual sinew and that you haven't accidentally lifted your blade up or angled your blade up and therefore you're starting to cut into the meat. So I switched it around here so you can see the angle a bit but you can see here I'm continuously trying to cut down into the sinew. The trickier bit is where you get towards the end in some of these muscles and because they're all different the sinew will like finish part way through but just take your time and you can use this and you can see here you can cut off one single nice steak so i flipped it over and i'm going to show you the second method so you're going to make us come like a small shallow incision and what you're looking for is that large sinew that's running through the muscle again once you've found that you can then use that again to cut along so you're going to use that as a guide for your blade now because you're cut making smaller cuts or shorter cuts along it's a lot easier to control and as you can see that come off really quickly and really nice and easily and i've hardly lost any meat out of the two methods this is definitely my preferred option i think it's a lot easier a lot quicker and you don't tend to lose as much meat if you like this video please hit the subscribe button and hit that thumbs up and also click on the card up above and in that video I show you how I use these flat iron steaks and how I make a beautiful carne asada and then also stunning chimichurri so click on that link and also don't forget to leave your comment down below but until the next video I'll see you then